was a summer evening in 2022 with a lifeless body of a 23-year-old father lying in the garage of the village hall. His face crushed, not a single intact bone left. His father, sentenced to life imprisonment. The only motive for the murder points to his wife. But she wasn't the culprit. Welcome to Dive Crime. Today, we delve into a tragic murder with a motive that you would never dare to imagine in your entire life. It's horrifying how these events have ruined the lives of an entire family due to one wrong marriage. On January 1st, 2022, a man named Erdogan was shot in both knees by Selim's father. Erdogan has been recovering in rehabilitation for six months. During his rehabilitation, he contracted COVID and lost his life from it. Due to the severity of the shooting, the case is closed as murder instead of COVID. Selim's father is put in prison and sentenced to 20 years in prison. But how this all started is even stranger. On September 6, 2019, Derya married the then 20-year-old Selim Yalchinkaya. Selim was an extremely sweet and caring man and treated Derya with all the respect and love. He took care of his family and they welcomed a son. The couple lived with Selim's parents in the village of Mamak in Ankara, Turkey. The village is a small, modest, strict village with mainly family or friends. Derya came here from another village when she got married. Salem was a hard worker and cultivated a large piece of land, where he made his money and had no habit of going out. The beautiful marriage of the two collapsed after Selim's father shot the man Erdogan in both knees. But why? Because Daria had an affair and photos of her were leaked. Erdogan brought the photos of Daria to her father-in-law and kept triggering him until he pulled out his gun and shot him in both knees. It was about honor, and it was too much for the old man. He was shown horrible images of his daughter-in-law in intercourse with other men. What he has done is not good, but what Erdogan has done leaves me with one question. What else would you achieve with the, this other than violence? A month passes and Daria and Selim are separated. She has been sent back to her parents and Emre lives with his one-year-old son in the village of Mamak. Six months pass on August 11, 2022, around 8 p.m. Selim's lifeless body is found in his shed. He lies there all alone. No crime weapon in sight, a pool of bodily fluid and a hundred questions lying next to him. The police immediately start an investigation and start hunting for clues and motives. The horrible details of his death come days later with the autopsy report. He was hit in the face with a hard object, leaving not a single whole bone. The cause of death is known as a fraction of the skull resulting in death. The crime scene is thoroughly searched, but no traces are found. The weapon used in the crime has been taken and the only thing the officers notice is an old cigarette filter. They take it for DNA testing and the report shows that the DNA does not belong to the victim, Selim. The police start an investigation into the motive of this gruesome incident, but the investigation soon comes to a standstill and the family goes to the TV program of the journalist Muje Anli to find the perpetrators. Selim's three sisters, his mother and his ex-wife Daria, are summoned. Muge Anli starts with the chronological order of all events. Soon details emerge about Daria that shock the whole of Turkey, including herself. She never expected to experience this shame. Daria had several affairs with other Selim friends and acquaintances out of the village during her marriage. She had intercourse with all these men, exchanged photos, and even gave her husband sleeping pills to let them in the house. Muge Anli receives the file from the public prosecutor to further handle the case. To her surprise, there are WhatsApp conversations in the file in which Daria texts Selim with extensive details about how she has intercourse with other men. The journalist only indicates to the audience that the terms used are so shocking that she does not understand what Daria's purpose was in telling this to her ex. The details are so intriguing that you would not even read this to a friend. Muge Anli asks Daria her motive. Why would you say something like that to your husband if you have no bad intentions, she says. You wanted him to go see the other men and argue. But she asks her, why? To this question, Daria answers that she wanted to make him jealous and that she thought he would want her back. But no one believes Daria. The motive of the murder is still unclear, but the researcher understands that it has to do with Daria. One minute before the cruelty took place, Daria called Selim for 37 minutes and the investigator took this detail with him. The investigation continues and the name Emre Yaslar comes popping up. Emre is the best friend of the victim, Selim. On the day of the crime, Emre came to the village on leave from the army. When researchers ask him this, he denies it. After putting a lot of pressure, Emre continues to indicate that he has not been there. The police watch the program and respond to this request and pick Emre up for questioning. 
During his interrogation, it is announced that he has to give blood because his DNA will be compared with the DNA from the crime scene. Emre panics and finally tells him that he saw Selim in the garage the night of the crime and smoked a cigarette with him. He says he was afraid and therefore denied it. His DNA is taken and it indeed matches. Emre is suspected of murder and the trial is still ongoing. He is the main suspect in this case. This is not the end of the matter because shocking details continue to emerge in the program. The day of the murder, Daria called Salim for 37 minutes on FaceTime, which turns out to be that she was distracting him, probably letting Emre know where and when Salim was alone. Boys also came to Salim's front door twice to lure him out. Salim indicated that he would not go along, and then just minutes after the crime, Emre Yaslar appears on the camera footage with the same car as that of the two boys. The CCTV shows the road going away from the house of the victim, and not his garage. The black car belongs to Emre's uncle. His uncle is the father of the deceased Erdogan who was shot by Selim's father. Emre and Daria are in a relationship during the cruel crime. Daria also had another boyfriend during this time, but he is not a suspect. Emre's motive is not yet clear here, but I will tell you now. He didn't kill his best friend for his cousin Erdogan's revenge, no, and not even did he do it for Daria. Daria was just a lure, he had intercourse with Daria, because in his experience he destroyed Selim's honor. In his mind this was a horrific honor fight. Years ago, Emre's mother had an affair with Selim's uncle. Emre's mother was then tragically beaten by all the men in the village. Her arms were broken and she was banished from the village. Emre appears to have always sworn revenge and has extracted his mother's revenge from Selim's family through Daria. He took revenge by having intercourse with Daria and then taking the life of Selim. Emre denies everything in court, but the case is still pending with a confidentiality restriction. A ruling in the case is expected in 2026. The family of the murdered Selim wants not only Emre to be tried, but also Daria to be held as a co-perpetrator and instigated. They indicate that their father is behind bars and their son is on the ground because of her deeds. They don't want her to be able to move on without any kind of punishment. Meanwhile, Moog Anli has given the then two-year-old son back to his mother on live TV because she believes that the baby belongs with the mother. This terrible story really happened in 2022. Unfortunately, it is not a fiction story, ladies and gentlemen. We do not know whether Emre's motive for revenge is really true, but the facts of Daria's infidelity have emerged. Then only 21 years old Daria and already such a fornicator. Gruesome death with consequences for an innocent boy who wouldn't hurt a fly. That's how he is remembered by everyone. His father is waiting till the days go by, but for what? What do you think of today's case, Dive Crime Family? Do you think Daria should also hold accountable in these two cases? Does she deserve a trial? Let us know in the comments and talk to us about this crime. If you have other files that you would like us to handle, you can contact us. Like and subscribe and see you next time.